Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you a tool that I've been using in my recent color grading project. And that tool is a small but quite powerful one, uh, which is also for free. So I think it can be of use for a lot of you guys and be a great help. That tool comes in the .dctl file format and I'll be showing you what that means. So DCTL means DaVinci color transform language. We're going on mixing light here. What is DCTL? DCTL or the DaVinci color transform language is a programming language created by Blackmagic Design that allows Resolve users to perform mathematical operations on image data within the Resolve ecosystem. It's based on CTL, color transform language, which was developed for a similar purpose, albeit not specific to Resolve. DCTLs is what's known as a high level. Okay, that's not of use for us. So it's basically a, like a programming language with, which was written for, uh, for programs like Resolve. And uh, it's a great tool for Resolve users that want to create their own little plugins. I'm not as technical to do that on my own, but uh, I'm very thankful that there are people out there who, who do that. And this little plugin you can get on github i'll be posting the link in the description to this github tree and there's a little installation guide and a usage guide and as you can see the tetra transformation that's the name of the plugin that i'm talking of tetra dctl ofx the tetra transformation as described by steve yedlin asc steve yedlin very well known uh, dop star wars which Star Wars was it? I have him here. Uh, the Last Jedi, Knives Out, Glass Onion, Knives Out, Carrie, San Andreas, Looper. So quite big, big movies. Um, original, what as described by Steve Yedlin, ASC. Originally implemented by for Nuke by Calvin Silly, ported to Fusion, and now it's being uh, it was ported to uh, Resolve FX. Very luckily, and. You get everything here, the file itself, readme, license, etc. You only need this one. And what you do with that, I'll be showing you in a second. So we have here DaVinci. Um, I already put it on here. I tried uh, some, some stuff with it, but I still want to show you the installation. So you go, you have a project opened. You go to file, then you go to your project settings, to color management, and then you open the LUT folder here. That's where all your LUTs are stored. And you put the Tetra DCTL file in here, like a LUT. Then you restart Resolve. And I already did that. And then I'll be putting on a new node. I would always put it in, in the first node. So it basically works on... on the basic image inform information that there is when you get the shot. And then you just go into your Resolve FX. And there in the Resolve FX color, there's a DCTL. Okay. Then you just put it on there like an FX. And you have a DCTL list here. And I have Tetra here. And now you see the the basic interface. So you have a global blend, so you can blend it, you know, from zero to one with the image you have. And what this does is basically taking image information and it, it does that all in a very clean way. Basically takes the image information, like here, the reds, the greens, the blues, sign, magenta, yellow, and the white. And you can shift it in different colors. Okay, so you get basically a very, oftentimes a very clean, a very clean, of course, with some, with some, uh, you know, you can always go too far. You can always go too far. You have to play with it a bit. Um, but you get a very nice color separation with the math behind it. Okay, so if I wanted to go and, you know, I have this yellow tone here and I wanted to shift it more into green, you know then you just go in that direction, okay? The other direction is red. So you have yellow, yellow, red. So it's basically red, green, blue. 
yellow goes to red here so you can you can turn it to red here and if you're on the green here on the green yellow to green then this one is in th on this side <laughs> i hope that's not too complicated um so red is here and then it goes further to green and the same same way here um then you have green here for blue, you put it more into blue here. Or, of course, like here, if you go in the, from yellow to blue, you go to the left, you're going to green again, okay? I hope that's not too complicated. Just play with it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, a very, it's very simple, but very powerful, I have to say. And I just changed the shot that I originally had, which I like, which I like, but um, let's go and just make this a bit bigger. I just, you know, I got much more color separation. This is quite exaggerated, you know, but if there's a, it, it's, it's quite hard when, when the picture is color in color, you know, when you have a picture that is only yellow, then you'll have, you'll be having problems. But you, if you have different color information in the sky and, you know, normally, usually the skin looks a bit different than the sky and what's, what's behind that, um, then you can get a very nice, very clean color separation. And yeah, just download it, install it, play with it, very powerful and I really like it. <laughs> Thank you uh, to all the devs out there who do this stuff. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope uh, that this helped you uh, with your workflow a bit. And uh, I'll be, uh, uh, just please write in the comments if this one helped you and if you got something out of it. And yeah, and as always, you know, um, as always, uh, just leave us up, leave a comment, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Very much appreciated. Hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.